Stop buying everything that is sold to you. In this video, I am going to go over four scientific proven supplements that can reduce pain, improve function, decrease swelling and stiffness, and improve your skin if you suffer from psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis. I will also discuss the appropriate doses that you need to take to have that beneficial effect and how to choose a good quality supplement from the millions that are out there on the market. Let's begin. Rheumatologistoncall.com Hi everyone, I am Dr. Diana Gurnita, a board certified physician that treats people with arthritis every day. About 125 million people battle psoriasis all over the world. This is an autoimmune skin disease that can cause itchy, scaly rashes commonly seen on the knees, elbows, scalp, genital areas, or around the belly button. But psoriasis can affect much more than your skin. About 25% of people with psoriasis develop a joint disease, an inflammatory type of arthritis called psoriatic arthritis. And this arthritis can affect multiple joints from your hands, wrists, elbows, spine, ankles, or feet, and can be very disabling. Coming back to the supplements, the first supplement that I would like to discuss today for people with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis is vitamin D. Vitamin D is not only the hormone that controls the calcium metabolism, but it was also shown to be a hormone that can influence your immune system cells. Many immune system cells have receptors for vitamin D. Plus, research found that many patients with psoriasis are deficient in vitamin D, which is believed to be related to more inflammation and more autoimmune diseases. There are also large studies that prove that taking vitamin D will decrease the risk to develop autoimmune diseases like psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis. So my recommendation is to talk to your doctor and get the vitamin D level checked every year. If it's low, start taking a vitamin D supplement. The second supplement is fish oil or omega-3 fatty acids. As I have discussed in a previous video about the use of fish oil in rheumatoid arthritis patients, this has been proven to have a similar effect to NSAIDs, to decrease inflammation, but without all the side effects of ibuprofen or naproxen. Omega-3 fatty acids act on an enzyme that decreases the production of certain substances that are supposed to increase inflammation. So taking fish oil or omega-3s you may naturally decrease inflammation in your body. Research in psoriatic arthritis patients that took fish oil in combination with the standard therapy reported a decrease in joint pain, improved function, decreased inflammation markers, and decrease in the use of NSAIDs and acetaminophen or Tylenol, but also a decreased risk in developing heart disease. And that's a bonus. Now, if you are learning and enjoying these educational videos, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. In this way, my videos will spread this good quality information and more and more people will benefit from it all around the world. Let's talk about turmeric. This yellow spice contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory curcuminoids and they can significantly improve psoriatic arthritis symptoms. Like fish oil or omega-3s, the use of curcumin was also shown to decrease the disease activity and markers of inflammation. People with rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis can benefit from this and will be able to reduce the amount of NSAIDs that they take. A study published in 2020 showed that curcumin inhibits pro-inflammatory molecules from the immune system cells in people with psoriatic arthritis or people with psoriasis. Now let's talk about probiotics. Here, I would like to take a short break and to tell you why your gut is so important. Many people with psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis will experience gut issues. 
from abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, or alternating diarrhea with constipation. We call this gut dysbiosis. The role of probiotics, although not completely understood, is to regulate the gut bacteria and hopefully improve the good bacteria that you have in your gut. Studies on probiotics have mixed results, and that might be because of different strains that they use or different brands, or simply because there was not enough time to evaluate the effects on these studies because they were running just for three months. Here is a study that proved that the use of probiotics is associated with improvement in the skin disease in up to 75 of those who use probiotics for about three months. Certain types of bacteria like lactobacillus or bifidobacterium strains have been shown to be beneficial in people with psoriasis and studies show that they can reduce markers of inflammation like tumor necrosis alpha. Please be advised, none of these supplements can replace your treatment for psoriasis or psoriatic arthritis, but you should discuss them with your doctor if you decide to try them because they might be helpful. Now let's cover quickly the ideal dosage so you will get the maximum benefit. For vitamin D, it is recommended to take between 1,000 and 2,000 international units every day. And you should ask to check your vitamin D level every six months to avoid toxicity. For omega-3s or fish oil, a dose of two to three grams a day is what you should aim for. And you should look for products that do not have contaminants. For turmeric or curcumin, 1 to 1.5 grams every day will be ideal. Make sure the supplement has added pepper to improve the absorption of curcumin. And for probiotics, between 10 to 50 billion CFU, and CFU stands for colony forming unit, and it is used to estimate the number of living cells in a sample. As with any supplement, you should start low and gradually increase the dose while you're monitoring for side effects. Always reevaluate the effect on your body every two to three months. If you see a benefit, you can continue. If you don't see that benefit, you should stop. And remember, always discuss with your doctor before you start taking any supplement. For my patients with rheumatoid arthritis, I have designed a rheumatoid arthritis journal where they can write down every day or every week their progress with arthritis while taking the supplement. Check this out and get a copy for you today. You will find the link in the description of this video. I would strongly recommend you to look for NSF and USP certifications. Why? Because these are third-party certifications that independently address products without being affiliated to these companies that produce them. They do toxicology reviews to certify that that product formulation has no contaminants like heavy metals or other toxin. And for those of you that are interested, I put some links in the description of this video to products that meet this criteria. Now, please keep in mind that I'm not endorsing these companies and I cannot guarantee the effectiveness of this product. Please do your own research and also, as I said, discuss with your doctor. Now, let me know, did you try any supplements for your psoriatic arthritis? What did you try and what worked for you? Leave me your comments in the bottom of this video and share your experience with the world. Once again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until the next time, stay informed and stay healthy. Thank you. Rheumatologistoncall.com